Fora TV. The world is thinking. When we look not only at the conspiracy theories, but at the aspirations uh, to achieve a world that is ultimately Islamicized, the jihad sets out in its final goal, however far away it may be from that goal, it sets out to conquer the world for Islam. And the peace and harmony in this world will not be achieved. I mean, I have had many discussions on this. It's not only coming from um, a close study, but discussions with Muslims of different kinds, uh, some of whom actually believe this. In the course of making a number of documentary films, I had an opportunity to sit down and explore this in detail and to see that uh, this is taken with deadly seriousness. The idea that um, the jihad will achieve ultimately its goals, that they will rule, however much we may smile, laugh and dismiss it out of hand. They will rule the White House, they will rule Downing Street, they will bring Europe to its knees. You know, one of my chapters is called Welcome to Arabia, Eurabia, sorry, Eurabia. Welcome to Eurabia, which shows how the beginnings of this shift, which may take uh, 30, 40, 50 years to fully implement, are already there. The signs, the signs are there. It doesn't mean everything is fated, predetermined. There are choices, there are policies, there are outcomes that can be changed. But there is that aspiration. We haven't seen that since the days of communism, and even the communists, I think, in retrospect, were more sober and uh, more calculating and with a, a greater sense of reality than, uh, than what we see present in uh, the phenomenon of is Islamism. Uh, and then there's the incalculable. I mean, Iran is one obvious case in point. And it, it's been more complicated by this powerful, surge from below, the, the aspirations for democracy. Who of us can really know, even the best intelligence information, it seems to me, is unable to predict how this will affect the ruling uh, Ayatollahs and Ahmadinejad and his entourage? Will it make them even more intransigent? Will it make an imminent nuclearization of Iran even more dangerous, rather than less so? Uh, which is a possibility. Uh, the world, I think, has entered into a phase to which it's been moving and which I sought to document. Uh, and I'm now even more convinced than I was when I finished writing this book into possibly the most dangerous two years that we could possibly conceive in terms of uh, instability is much too mild a word, of, of, of major upheavals, uh, which even, you know, a country like the United States, which had very much, um, you know, determined the world order through the 1990s and the beginning of this century, w is having enormous difficulty in, in being able to, uh, to handle. Already involved right now, as I speak, in three wars which it cannot <coughs> resolve in Iraq, Afghanistan, and now Pakistan, Le and with Iran waiting in the wings. So Second. war is on the horizon. 